So folks, a little pre-match before the Leighton Orient games. We've uh, asked the fans to send in their questions to ask you and we'll get to them shortly. But first, um, a little focus on Leighton Orient. We've played them a few times. What's your memories with them? Yeah, um, always been really difficult games. Um, they've actually been really enjoyable games to play in. Um, I know we've obviously not got the results that we've been looking for when we've come up against them, but they're a really good football inside. They've got really key individuals that can hurt you on the day that we've seen, I think, um, especially going forward, um, both in the National League and also this league as well, um, in, in League Two. So we know what to expect. Um, it's going to be a hard game and, 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 and two teams hopefully going at it and uh, hopefully be a good spectacle. Yeah, we've sort of followed their journey a bit, haven't we, in a way, because they got promoted a couple of years ago to Football League and now we're sort of following their way, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Um, look, they're a big football club, there's no denying that. It's a fantastic stadium when you go down and play there and, um, yeah, like you say, they, they, they found themselves in the National League, so did we, and um, they managed to get out of it um, by winning the winning the, the division, which they, they're totally um, on merit. Um, they were a fantastic side and um, we that were a benchmark for us really, if you like, to to, to see in his first year what, what what we had to do to get out of that league. And um, yeah, we, we followed up by the following season, managing to get out of the, the league ourselves. And uh, yeah, we've we, we've come up against them um, in, in, in within this season now and uh, yeah, we'd fully expect a, a really difficult match. Of course, we're up for every game, but maybe even more so against Leicester because we we are yet to pick up the three points against them. So hopefully, we can break the duck on Saturday. Yeah, we've had we've had some good performances, but we've never got the results. So um, they've always found themselves going away with a three points. So yeah, we'll be desperate, um, especially after Tuesday, to look to get something out of the game and hopefully a really positive result against a, a really good side. Yeah, it's going to be a good opportunity for us to get back to winning ways, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've been we've been playing well the last few weeks, and and we've certainly picked up. So it's all about us, you know, getting that winning feeling back. We 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 we've come sh come up short against Cheltenham on Tuesday, uh, who were a really good side, and it were a frustrating night for us all. But we'll be looking to to get that winning feeling back, and hopefully we can do that on Saturday. Yeah, that's great. Um, if we move on to the fan questions now. The first one is: What's been your best moment as a footballer? I think that's an easy one. Um, I've managed to win a couple of league titles, and obviously I've won two promotions, playoffs. But the the, the main one for me was um, the one that tops them all is is, is Wembley. Um, managing to um, win promotion, play at Wembley. I know we found ourselves in COVID, which um, was gutting for us all, and, and not having the fans there with us and and all as family. Um, but. Nah, nobody can take that away from us and uh, yeah, that was definitely my um, best moment so far in football. Yeah, I think that's the top of many people's lists. Um, bit of a tougher one. Would you rather continue playing into your late 30s but have to drop down the divisions or finish earlier and concentrate on your coaching and management? Because you are into your coaching, haven't you? Yeah, it's a tough question. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've been lucky to be able to um, combine my roles, if you like, um, with with my playing, but I've also managed to get some really good experiences of, of coaching the under twenty threes for the last few seasons, um, which I've absolutely loved and, and really enjoyed getting my my teeth into that. Um, and it's something that I definitely would like to go on after I stop playing, whenever that may be. Um, I think that I haven't really thought exactly uh, too much into that, and I think that. I'll only know myself and if there's an opportunity, for instance, that comes up um, and I'll weigh everything up and, and make sure that I make the right decision. But yeah, it is something that I've been quite clear about that I want to do after I've stopped playing, if you like, and um, um, I'll hopefully be able to, you know, I'll, I'll answer that question when the time's right. Yeah, a few, few years left in you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Have you ever bumped into Marcelo Bielsa in the queue for Betis? No, not yet. I'm desperate to, as if, I'm a big Leeds fan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you did, what would you ask him? Um, I think for me, I, I, you know, what he's done at Leeds United has been uh, quite incredible in, in a short space of time and the philosophies that he's brought um, and, and how the players have adapted has is, is, is been, is been amazing to see and the, the style of football that they play, it's, it's fantastic to watch. So I think for me, I, um, 
you know, pre the previous question about the coaching side of things, I think maybe just ask him if I could go and witness a full day of the whole the whole lot really, maybe to witness it, what it's like playing under him as a player and then, you know, to spend maybe an afternoon talking over how he looks at the game um, would be a, a fantastic day for me. So if, if if I could do, I think that would be the, the, the ideal outcome. Um, Leeds getting promoted, how, how did you feel when that moment actually happened? Yeah, it was brilliant. It was a great summer. I know we had a really terrible year in 2020, but you look back and uh, um, first and foremost, how to get we got as we got the, the day out at Wembley and managed to get um, become a football league club, which was incredible. And also watching my boyhood club Leeds United get promoted back into the, the Premier League. As much as it was a, a difficult year, there was some huge moments within that, and 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 some moments that I won't forget. So. Yeah, um, it's been a long time coming, um, and 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 to be fair, they've they've hit the ground running, if you like, and they've been brilliant, brilliant to watch, and and, and performances wise and results wise, they've picked up this season has been quite remarkable. Mm. How has your dad been coping, not being at the games? Yeah. He's all yeah. in one piece. The yes, yeah, yeah. My dad is um, is missing it massively. Um, he follows me up and down the country. He goes to a lot of the away games, as not just the home games, but. Yeah, he's been glued. He never misses a minute, and yeah, every every after every game, I'll get on the phone and and we'll 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 speak about the game and what he thinks. And uh, yeah, he's he's obviously missing it just like anybody. He's a, a huge fan of football, and he's he's been lucky enough to be able to be a fan of of me as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, he's desperate to to get back and and watch it properly. Is he a harsh critic? Yeah, he can be. He'll make sure he'll definitely tell me exactly. Um, um, what I've done wrong, if you like, and he'll he'll always be looking to give me the truths. Um, but the the kind of the relationship that we've we've built over the years, we've I kind of know <laughs> if I've not had a great game, it's not somebody that I like to phone, but I have to do it just because I've always done it throughout my life. Before a match, um, do you have any routines or superstitions? Yeah, I do actually. I'm quite <laughs> all the lads know this. I'm a I'm a really superstitious guy, if you like. Um, I like to eat at specific times. I eat a lot later than the lads. I like to. A lot of players like to feel quite empty, if you like. But I I eat at as late as possible because I like to feel um, full of energy. Um, I I put shin pads on certain ways. I yeah, there's all sorts that I do. I could go on and on and on the list, but I eat the same foods uh, before the night before games and things like that. So yeah, I am quite superstitious, but. Like I say, we'd be we'd be here a while if I if I went through them all. Um, what do the lads think of that? They give me a lot of stick half at the time because they know what I'm like. So um, they just let me get on with it because they know that if I get in my own head, um, that, that's not good. That's not good at all. So no, they they're great, but um, they they all know me really well enough now to to understand what's going on. Is there a play you've uh, tried to model yourself on throughout your career? Um, the the biggest player that I looked at um, growing up was um, David Batty, um, who obviously had a fantastic career with Leeds, Newcastle, Blackburn, I think he was in England as well. Um, but he's, he wasn't maybe one of the famous names, if you like. And um, but for me, growing up, when Leeds was you know in the Premier League and in the Champions League, it was. It was great for, for me to see and, 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 and Batty played in the same position that I did and liked to play the game like I liked to play the game. So he was definitely somebody that I looked at, how he was you know, really tenacious in the tackles, used to try and win the ball back nice and quickly and then just keep the game simple, keep the ball and, and, and keep the game ticking if you like. And he definitely went under. He didn't ever really got the headlines if you like, but he was, a, he was for me, I absolutely love watching David Batty, yeah. Mm. Who's been the biggest influence on your career as a footballer? Um, I'd have to say my dad and my, my family, and not not just my dad, but my mum as well. You know, um, they've sacrificed a lot um, to get me to where I am today, and I'm very lucky and appre appreciative of that. But my dad, even more so, he probably, he, 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 like I say, he goes that little bit extra because he's always there at games. He's home away. I obviously went up to Scotland, spent a lot of years up there, and. He used to come up, maybe not every weekend, but every other weekend to watch me play, and he, you know, he's, he's been, he's been a massive part in my in my career so far. 
And finally, as we head into the second half of the season now, is there a game or a fixture which stands out to you now or are you just looking forward to each one that comes? Yeah, each one that comes. Uh, we've we've got I think we've got Bolton away, which obviously is a player that's it's a fantastic ground and a fantastic stadium to play in. But yeah, we've we've obviously um come a, come up against every every team pretty much now, I think, if you like, and, and for us um, it's all about you know building and getting as many wins as possible from now to the end of the season. That's the that's the main thing. Thanks, that's folks. Uh, best of this weekend. Cheers. Thank you. All good. Yeah.